food prices are soaring. And Loblaw says customers are shopping more often at discount grocers. That helped boost its earnings. But at no frills, there is still plenty of frustration. Companies, they have no heart. They always want to make the same amount or more. I do believe it costs them more, but not as much as they're extorting from people. Loblaw, along with competitors Empire and Metro, have come under scrutiny lately. All three companies insist they're not taking advantage of inflation to pad profits. Loblaw CEO Galen Weston says higher costs are just being passed on from suppliers, and the sticker shock could continue in the coming months. We still have over a thousand supplier requests on our desks for significant cost increases. Big food manufacturers say they're facing higher costs for labor, raw materials and transportation. So General Mills and Nestle plan to hike prices again this year. But many consumers have directed their frustration at grocers, calling it greedflation. Whether or not um, greedflation is at play is, is really, really difficult to, to nail down. Still, some experts say 80% of grocery sales are controlled by five retail chains, and it's cause for concern. There is also a question mark about the role of um, market concentration and a lack of competition in driving up these food prices. The debate over whether retailers have raised prices too much is ongoing, from produce aisles to Parliament Hill. This, unfortunately, is a symptom of an overheated economy. And from the Bank of Canada so governor, a warning. The companies do need to normalize their pricing behavior. That's part of getting back to 2% inflation. Businesses need to get price increases under control soon, or the central bank says it could take action, with more interest rate hikes to slow the stubborn inflation that Canadians have endured for too long. Nisha, there are a few groups uh, looking into what's going on with food prices. Can you walk us through what they're finding? Adrian, there have been ongoing parliamentary hearings now. The committee has specifically summoned the CEOs of Loblaw Metro and Empire to explain their profits. We'll see if they actually appear. The Competition Bureau is also looking at whether there's too much corporate concentration. It's supposed to release recommendations in June. And finally, there's something that's called the Grocery Code of Conduct in the works, almost like a watchdog that many industry watchers hope will even the playing field in the grocery sector. And Adrian, for Canadians dealing with those soaring food prices, any kind of change can't come soon enough. Yeah, no kidding. Nisha, thank you.